So next question is 2.51. The work function for cesium atom is 1.9 electron volt. Calculate threshold wavelength, threshold frequency of the radiation. If the cesium element is irradiated with a wavelength 500 nanometer, calculate the kinetic energy and velocity of the ejected photoelectron. So in this question, we are given with work function in terms of electron volt. And we are given with wavelength of 500 nanometer. We have four questions here. One is to calculate threshold wavelength. The other one is to calculate threshold frequency. Then you need to calculate what is the kinetic energy of the electron and the velocity of the electron. So four things we have to calculate. Let's see step by step how to do it. Now because our entire problem in this chapter is dealing with energy with respect to joules, first thing that we will do is convert this electron volt to joule. So here we can write that work function, work function is represented as W. It is a form of energy. So obviously you can convert this to joules. So work function here can be also represented as E0 which is energy. So E0 we can write this as 1.9 electron volt. So this is the value. Now this we need to convert it to joules. So remember that 1 electron volt is equal to 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules. That is the conversion of electron volt to joule. Now we'll have to do this here. So when you convert this electron volt to joule, we just have to multiply this number with the conversion. So this is equal to 1.9 electron volt into 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules divided by 1 electron volt. So if 1 electron volt is this many joules, this many electron volt is equal to how many joules? That's why I got this 1 electron volt in the denominator. This and this will get cancelled. So we will get our answer here as 3.04 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules. So now we have our work function here in terms of joule. So that once we have done with that, we we'll start with the calculation. So first question is calculate threshold wavelength, threshold frequency. It's easy for us to calculate the threshold frequency here. So let's calculate that. Now here, since W is equal to E0, we can bring about a relationship where frequency is related to energy. And we know that very well. So here... Since threshold is equal to threshold, your energy is equal to work function in this case. We can write here that because we are calculating for threshold frequency, which is denoted as nu naught. So where will you get a relation between this and this? Where we have a very simple equation E is equal to H nu naught. E, E0 is nothing but your work function. Nu0 is your threshold frequency that you have to calculate. H is Planck's constant. So out of this we have to calculate what is Nu0. So for that Nu0 is equal to your work function or E0 divided by H. E0 we know we just calculated. We will substitute that here. So 3.04 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule by h value is a Planck's constant so that is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second joule and joule will get cancelled this is equal to 3.04 divided by 6.626 is 0 0.459 into 10 to the power plus minus 34 when it goes to the numerator it will become plus 34 so minus 19 plus 34 will become plus 15. Seconds when it goes up becomes seconds inverse. When we shift a decimal to the right, this will become 
फोर पॉइंट फाइव नाइन टेन टू द पावर फोर्टीन सेकेंड्स इनवर्स दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द थ्रेश होल्ड फ्रीक्वेंसी नाउ दैट इज विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू दिस सो वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट थ्रेश होल्ड वेव लेंथ फ्रॉम फ्रीक्वेंसी सो हियर वी कैन राइट दैट थ्रेश होल्ड वेव लेंथ is denoted as lambda not now relationship between the wavelength and frequency is the simple one so here we can write lambda is equal to c by nu not same relationship so c is nothing but velocity of light that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second divided by frequency is this 4.5910 to the power 14 seconds inverse seconds inverse and seconds inverse will get cancelled 3 by 4.59 is 0.654 into 10 to the power 8 minus 14 plus 14 when it goes up it becomes minus 14 so this will become minus 6 meter is only left out Now, when you shift your decimal to the right, this will become six point five four ten to the power minus seven meters. Shift two more decimals, and you will get this as six fifty four into ten to the power minus nine meter. Now, this entire thing can be equal to six fifty four nanometer. Why? Because one nanometer is equal to ten to the power minus nine meters. So when you convert your decimal, your shift your decimals like this. When you get ten to the power minus nine meters, that is equal to that many nanometer. Now this is going to be the threshold wavelength when you have this threshold frequency. Now the next one it says that you need to calculate what is the kinetic energy of the ejected electron when the wavelength is five hundred nanometer. All right. So here we can calculate this as energy of the radiated light should be E is equal to H C by lambda. Why did we take this relation? Because we have to use this wavelength to get what the energy is. So in this, h is Planck's constant, c is velocity of light, lambda is five hundred nanometer. But because this is a nanometer, we should convert this to meter. So lambda is equal to five hundred nanometer, which is equal to five hundred into ten to the power minus nine meters. So now that you've got the conversion to meter, let's substitute the values in the formula. So here E is equal to Planck's constant is six point six two six into ten to the power minus thirty four joule second into C is velocity of light three into ten to the power eight meter per second divided by Lambda value is this in terms of meter, so this is five hundred into ten to the power minus nine meter. Now let's cancel out the SI units. So we have cancelled it out. Now when you solve this, six point six two six into three divided by five hundred, this will be equal to zero point zero three nine eight into ten to the power minus thirty four plus eight minus nine. When it comes up, it will become plus nine. So when I simplify this, I'll get minus seventeen joule. I'll shift the decimal to two places here, so this will become three point nine eight ten to the power minus nineteen joule. Now this is going to be the energy when wavelength is five hundred nanometer. All right. Now we still haven't arrived at kinetic energy. Using this energy, you can calculate kinetic energy here. So for that, what is the relationship between this energy and the kinetic energy? You have only one relationship, so that can be that energy of radiation 
equals equals work function work function plus kinetic energy so this is the relationship that will give us an equation between energy of radiation and to find out kinetic energy so now out of this we know what is work function because that's what we have here given to us in the question we know what is energy of radiation which we just calculated here we need to calculate what is kinetic energy so here we can calculate this easily so in this case we can write that kinetic energy is equal to this energy that's 3.98 10 to the power minus 19 minus work function which is 3.04 10 to the power minus 19. Now when we simplify both of this it will become 0 0.94 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule. Shift the decimal to the right by one decimal you get 9.4 10 to the power minus 20 joule. So now here you are getting what is the kinetic energy for the ejected photoelectron. Now the last one is you need to calculate what is the velocity. You know what is the kinetic energy using the simple kinetic energy formula you can calculate easily what is the velocity. So here we can write that kinetic energy is equal to 1 by 2 mv square. Now in this m is nothing but the mass of electron. Kinetic energy we just calculated. V is what we have to calculate which is the velocity of the ejected photoelectron. Let's rearrange this entire formula. So you will get V square is equal to 2 into kinetic energy divided by m. Now let's substitute it. This will be 2 into kinetic energy is here. 9.4 into 10 to the power minus 20 divided by your mass isn't uh, for the electron. So this is going to be 9.1 10 to the power minus 31 kilogram. So these are your substitutions for that this particular equation. So for that you should know what the by, by hearted value for mass of electron. But here this energy is in terms of joule. This is in terms of kg which means the units are not matching. So for that you need to convert joule in kg. So you should know the relation there. So write down that 1 joule is equal to kg meter square seconds minus 2. Now we will just substitute this over here. So this will become 2 into 9.4 into 10 to the power minus 20 kg meter square seconds minus 2 divided by 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg. Now the units are same. It's easy for us to simplify. Kg and kg will get cancelled. 9.4 into 2 will give us 18.8 into 10 to the power minus 20 meter square seconds minus 2 divided by 9.1 10 to the power minus 31. Now when you divide both of this you will get your value here as 2.066 into 10 to the power minus here in this case minus 20 plus 31 will become plus 11 meter square seconds minus 2. Alright. Now this is going to be the value for V square. We need to calculate just the velocity. They did not tell us to calculate the square of velocity. They told us to calculate the velocity. So in that case V square is what is given to us. We need to calculate what is V. So for V it is going to be root of that value 
to 0 0.066 10 to the power 11 meter square seconds minus 2. Now in this case what we have to do is because you're taking a square root change this to an even number. So in this case when you shift a decimal to the right this will become as 20.66 into 10 to the power 10 meter square seconds minus 2. So square root of 20.66 is nothing but 4.54 into now when we do the square root for a power it's half of it. So here this is going to be 10 to the power 5 meter square will become just meter second to the power minus 2 will become just seconds inverse. Now this is going to be the velocity for the ejected electron. So this way we have calculated all of it using the work function in terms of joules. We calculated threshold frequency. Threshold frequency using that value you calculated what is threshold wavelength. Now the second third one is to calculate what is kinetic energy. For that we had to use the 500 nanometers used in our question. So for that we had to use the regular formula for energy. Calculate what is the energy of the radiated light. Using a relationship between energy of radiated light and kinetic energy, you have to calculate what is kinetic energy. Once you did that, using kinetic energy value, you will calculate what is velocity. So though the problem looks bigger, when you break down and try to write down what the formula is, it is easy for us to calculate the answer.